Everybody's sick. Why is everybody sick? G'day, guys. It's Brooks and Asian. Today, we're back with your Saturday steam and a little more 60 seconds reatomized. Last week was a total, well, it wasn't a total disaster. It wasn't terrible. We managed to find an ice cream truck. That was kind of cool. And we made it 60 days. That was pretty incredible for us. We've never made it past like, I don't know, 30 or something. So that was pretty good. We survived. Timmy got raided. Ted Dolores disappeared. Mary Jane ran away. So yeah, that's kind of the ins and outs of it. We had a cat. That was kind of cool. That was neat. This week, we're going to do a few Mary Jane challenges and survivals and see if we can get Mary Jane to make it to the end because she literally is always the first to go. leave. She might be the smart one. I don't know. She's always like, peace out after like 10 days. So let's see if we can get Mary Jane to stay around through something, anything. Let's get started. But before we do so, if you guys haven't done so yet, head on down below and hit that subscribe and ring that bell. That way you're notified whenever there is new content coming out just for you guys. And if you haven't done so yet, take a look at the link in the description below for memberships, exclusive content, including badges, emojis, and videos of outtakes just for you guys. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram and Twitter, head on over there and do that because that is where you will find new merch designs dropping very soon. Let's drop into this. Not like a, a nuke though. We're not going to drop like a nuke. We're just going to... All right, so the closest I can get to a Mary Jane challenge, or yeah, this is a challenge, one of the scavenge ones, is this one called the babysitter, which is kind of appropriate because they're kids. So collect family members and items listed below to the shelter before time runs out. We've got Timmy and Mary Jane and a few games and toys and soup and water, but we also get to collect a kid hat for them. And uh, I think that's kind of appropriate. Let's see what kind of kid hats we can get for Mary Jane and Timmy. Let the adventure begin. We are Ted and we are looking for children and soup and water and games. That is what we are looking for. We don't want any like unnecessary weapons or anything like that today. Just children and games. Not even Dolores. We're not even bringing Dolores with us. Sorry about that, Dolores. You're going to just be hanging out right here. Grab no. that water. Grab no. that water, Ted. No. Grab the water, Ted. Why are you not grabbing the water? No room? Okay, why would you stick a water back there if I can't reach it, though? That's a bit unfair. Oh, no room. No room, no room. Why did I not dump the stuff? Okay, great. We're halfway through through this and we've already messed up so this is going to end badly okay we're gonna get mary jane oh she takes up three spaces goodness gracious mary jane that oboe is a lot of room a lot of room mary jane i don't think we're gonna make it look at that i don't even know where timmy is is he in his bedroom he's in here timmy usually has all of the games as well he's got the checkers he's got um i don't need the water was that the checkers board i had the checkers board get to the shelter get to the shelter what have we gotten oh we're missing like oh we're just gonna oh no we definitely did not make that one at all okay Next time around, we're not going to fuss with things when it says no room. It doesn't mean you can't get past something. It means literally that you have no room in your hands, which doesn't make any sense. I'm at home. I can do what I want. Okay. Oh, look, Mary Jane's right there. How easy is that? Simple as. Grab Mary Jane. Let's go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mary Jane, you're out of here. Okay. You are out of here. Water. Well, I mean soup. <laughs> That's soup, not water. And then we need we need this one. We need this one. This one. This one. Okay. They turn green when you're about to pick them up. I did not know that. I guess these are things I should pay attention to. Like, where's Timmy? Oh, there's the flashlight. That's good. Let's get the flashlight. This one might be a little bit too easy for me. Might be a little bit easy. I see the, the book and I need to find cards and more water. I see, look, I see the scout book. Where did I see the scout book? Under here, right there. Oh, wait, no, no, the scout book. And then I need two more waters. Where am I going to find more water? More water. Oh, look, there's one right there. I got this. And then there's one right here. I got this. And then I've got everything. That's it. I got everything. Oh my goodness. Did we literally just get that on the second try? That one was too easy. You know it's easy when I get through it on the second try. That's just insanity. We want another challenge. Oh my gosh. Okay, what do we get again? Hats. Oh, look at Timmy's little hat. And Mary Jane's got a bow. Oh, that's so cute. Well done, guys. Yay, bravo. Bravo, Teddy, for getting everybody out. Okay, now we're going to see if we can find a challenge where we can save Mary Jane. Let's see if we can keep Mary Jane alive and in the shelter for 50 days. Okay, we get a toy skin if we win. I don't know what that means. We've made it to 60 days, though, so maybe we could do 50. But we can't send Timmy and Mary Jane out on anything. They have to stay in the shelter and stay safe. Mary Jane can't get injured because that's how she's left both times before. She's gotten injured and just been like, peace. You guys don't want to take care of me? We have a first aid kit this time, which is good. We have a bag. Okay, so we just need to make sure we have soup and water is really the main thing. Okay, we all made it, especially the children. We must protect them from the horrors of the wasteland. They will be provided for and won't have to risk their necks for a can of soup. This has nothing to do with the fact that families with two or more children will be rescued first. Nope, just our values. Sure. Totally not connected to that army radio broadcast earlier. 
Oh, and absolutely no weapons or other sharp objects are permanented inside the shelter. The children might accidentally hurt themselves. You look away for one second and suddenly a child falls head first on an axe. We'd rather avoid accidents like that. Well, that's that's not great. The rescue team comes in 50 days. According to the emergency military broadcast, we'll just have to survive until then. With only two explorers and no weapons, it's not going to be easy. We thought that was a good idea. All right, we're definitely low on a lot of things. We've only got four soup and four water, so we're going to have to send expeditions. Where did that green puddle come from? Oh, dear. A pipe is leaking. Green goo. That's not good. That's not good at all. We need to act now. And no one packed a mop. What do we do? I think I've done this before. We don't have a gas mask either, which is not going to be great. Let's use the suitcase and see if we can catch it. I think I did that with the mask and it ate through the mask. Although now I'm not going to have a suitcase, which is beard. I might need the suitcase. All right. We grabbed our old suitcase and shoved it under the pipe. Seems like all the liquid that was supposed to leak out did so during the night. On the bright side, we don't have to worry about the smell making us sick anymore. The downside, our suitcase is completely ruined. Great. Okay, time to figure out who we're sending out for our first expedition. Mary Jane has been dropping hints that it's a special day for her today. We had to think about it hard, and after eliminating your average festivities, the anniversary of that great barbecue we had three years ago, and International Popcorn Day, we realized she was talking about her birthday. That means we need to get her a gift. Cards it is. I'm not giving her bug spray. I feel like that would end badly. All right, here we go. First expedition day. Mary Jane loves cards. We thought she might get herself busy with solitaire, but she started doing card readings. Divination or not, if we don't figure out why the world has gone to heck, maybe she will. Okay, here we go for our first expedition. We are going to send Teddy, and we're going to send him with... I think we'll send him with a flashlight. That's really all I got that he can take. I don't really want to send him empty-handed, but a flashlight works. I wonder if we need to keep the cards this time around. Uh, everybody's sick. Why is everybody sick? Okay, I can only fix one person, and Mary Jane is the person we are keeping alive, so the rest of y'all are just gonna have to wait. Ooh, we felt like someone was staring at us from the corner of the shelter. We think it's a rat. Oh no, where's Sharikov when we need him? Okay, Mary Jane looks better. Dolores and Timmy, however, are looking not so great. Okay, as we were looking around, oh no, we lost a soup can. That's not great. Only 40 more days and we get out of this mess. Can't wait, can't wait until we have actual knives and other sharp objects around again. Trying to cut any package open without a cutting tool has proven very irritating. Oh no. Was that Ted back? Oh wow, Ted looks terrible. All right, Ted's back. Um, We decided to finally check what we can find between the rubble in our own backyard. Our poor land, our poor lawns and flowers, once the object of desire of the whole neighborhood now reduced to nothing more than a radioactive ashes covered by debris. We used to barbecue here almost every weekend. The barbecue itself somehow found its way into the power line in front of our house and it's unreachable. Our garden table is mostly destroyed under bits and pieces of charred wood. Found a few things that could prove useful. Um... Wow, not even a bicycle made it through the blast. Weirdly enough, the baskets installed on top of them did. We found some leftover supplies there from our last bicycle trip. Perfect. Water's good. And everybody's sick, though, and nobody got first aid supplies, so this is bad. I guess Dolores is heading out. We were admiring the radioactive landscape when we saw a young woman dressed in ragged camo clothing. She had a nasty-looking rifle. Oh, no, I sent Dolores out with nothing. Oh, jeez. Okay, day 13, Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Even though I sent her with no supplies. Oh, no. We're on to our last can of soap. Oh, no. Ted is still sick. Timmy's still sick. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. It's because she's the only one who got medicine. What was that? Oh, no. Oh, Teddy boy, you do not look fantabulous right now. Oh, what the heck? We barely made it out alive. It was a giant mutated crocodile or an alligator or something else with a giant mouth and plenty of teeth. Is anyone hurt? Oh, no, this is terrible. That my friends, on day 17 is our last can of soup. We have no soup left. We have a little bit of water and Ted got eaten by an alligator. Not fully, just a little nibble, just nibble on him. Yeah. <laughs> Emergency radio broadcast. Let's see if we can learn a thing or two. As long as nobody drops the radio. Uh oh, I hear coughing now. That's Beard. We're able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout of sight has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Yes! Why is the door opening? Oh, is Dolores back? Oh, gosh. Frightened me for a second there. Dolores is back. Okay, we used to visit our local cinema so often that we could travel there blindfolded. It wasn't that surprising when this was where our feet took us, almost without involving our brains in the process. When we recognized the sign of the food stand sticking out from between the rubble, we were hoping to find some popcorn. There was none, but the tomato soup dispenser was still working 
working. Yay. So much yay. I mean, we needed soup, but really more tomato soup. The cinema had a strict policy of not bringing your own drinks into the movie hall. Seems like somebody broke the rules a little. We found a lot of bottles in the last row of the hall. Some were even full. Yay! That's a good yay. The only thing left of the ticket booth is the door with a padlock on it. The security here must have been questionable. Someone forgot to take the key out. Great. Now we have a padlock. Oh, good. That keeps the raiders out. So Mary Jane's gonna be homeschooled. Or in this case, shelter schooled. Interesting. Let's see what happens with that, shall we? Especially since Dolores looks like she really wants nothing to do with anything right now. Dolores does not mess around. What started out as a spelling exercise has quickly found its way to math revision, followed by a short physics course and ended on tinkering with random objects in the shelter. Mary Jane looks exhausted, but we can't deny the state of our shelter has improved today. We never thought we could spend a whole 20 days together in close quarters like that. Pre-apocalypse, we couldn't even spend an afternoon with each other without some sort of argument or one of us almost going crazy. Only 30 more days and this will all end. Why do we have a med kit? How did that happen? Okay, so I have to figure out who to use the med kit for. I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with Dolores. I think... Mm, I think Timmy might be okay for a while. <laughs> Okay, Ted is not gonna make it much longer if we don't do something. He's been infected by something, which is not great. All right, let's send Ted out on an expedition. I don't know if it's gonna be great, but let's see what happens. Today, we've met a bunch of people dressed in what looks like Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be a field hospital moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. The problem is some of their supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. They're asking if we have any spare hydrogen peroxide. Huh, we don't. We have water. Do we have enough water to spare? Let's send it. We're gonna send Teddy on a supply run so let's send them some water maybe they'll give us like a med kit or something in reply in exchange nope they gave us nothing so rude wait where's our oh is this our last can of soup a bottle of relatively clean water is the closest we will ever get to hydrogen peroxide the guests were grateful anyway oh no let's feed ted before we send him out his expedition and we're gonna send him with the flashlight again let's send him with the flashlight i don't really have much else we've lost everything else so far don't want to send him with the cards we might need those for entertainment all right this is the last of our soup the last of our soup. This could end badly. All right, halfway. Everybody's still here, mostly, except for Ted. Oh, we're down to our last bottle of water. Oh, day 27, when the group dressed in lab coats came over a while back asking for water. We had doubts about their identities, but no more. They came back today and gave us some injections. We don't know what it was, but we already feel so much better, and all the colors are so bright. What? Oh no, what did they give us? Everybody's sleeping. Too bad Ted's not here. He could use that. Wait, everybody looks better. Look. Oh, everybody looks, except, except Mary Jane. Why does she look so filthy? What's happening here? Timmy was cured. Mary Jane is looking very good, but she is pretty fatigued. Okay, everybody needs food, but I don't have any food. So I can't do anything for anybody right now. We approached the hole cautiously and peeked inside. What happened next? Nellie gave us a heart attack. Some crazed rodent, a reptile or whatever. This crazy mad creature was leapt out and started jumping all over the dang shelter. It was everywhere. We couldn't catch it. Before we could do anything, it pushed our radio off the table and went back into the hole it crawled from. We never saw it again. Oh no. More knocking at the door. Who could it be this time? Day 30. All right, so we're three fifths of the way through. Oh no, we may be hungry, but there are just some things we will never eat. Has it been 30 days already? We're still holding on, but for how long? The rescuers better come when they promised or else. Ted has been outside for far too long. He still has not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. No. And he took our flashlight. No. Oh, look, some people keep dogs and cats, and then there's ones who travel around with huge mutant spiders on a leash. Turns out one of them was the huntress we helped some time ago. She came back and shared a meal with us. Her tame pet spider tagged along, and it turned out to be quite friendly. We're pretty sure it purred when we pet him on the head right above his huge, bloodthirsty, terrifying eyes. Cute. That should be a question mark. <laughs> Oh, that means everybody ate. That's good. Is that good? Does that count? Hopefully that counts. Everybody's starting to look very sleepy. All right, Dolores needs water and we have none. We need to make a choice. Dolores, I don't know what I can send you with. I'm just going to send you with a deck of cards. I don't know what else to s I guess I could have just sent her empty-handed. Let's see if she comes back. Otherwise, it's just Timmy and Mary Jane getting through this together. Okay, day 35. We only have 15 days left, but we have no food and water. Timmy and Mary Jane are both hungry and thirsty. Oh, I don't know how this is going to help. I don't know how this is going to work out. This is not going to end great. On our way back from the last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Oh, maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup. Should we go and check? Who should we send out? Let's send Mary Jane, because I think Timmy's been sick longer, and hopefully she comes back. Day 36. Day 37. Thir wait, ooh, wait, what? Day 39? Why did that click by? Oh! <gasps> 
Oh no, what happened? Lucky fine, we were afraid the map was a trap, leading us straight into a camp full of bandits, but it turned out to be true. At the end of the path, we found some supplies that might be helpful to us. It was supposed to be an easy supply run. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. Dolores never returned. The locked shelter will forever hold its secrets, at least until somebody with a hack saw and lots of patience comes along. Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. Timmy, no, we're going to miss you, as well as our rescue date. Looks like we won't be getting out of here anytime soon. When Mary Jane found out she is not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this and that she's getting her water one way or another. We are seriously terrified right now. What? Oh no. I thought we were gonna make it this time. Day 39. 11 days. We were this close. This close. We were so close. 39 days, eight waters consumed, five soups. We only had to defend our shelter one time. Two or four successful expeditions brought home eight items. We made three no decisions, three yes decisions, and this is the end of our adventure. There's not even a person on the screen. It's just wasteland. Nobody made it. That's it. Nobody. All go home. That's the end of it. That's the end of this. I can't believe Mary Jane didn't make it. Man, I was so close. So close. I thought she was going to get some soup. Maybe she fainted. No, she ran away. That's right. Huh, it just said that. Well, guys, this was another unsuccessful, kind of successful. Our first thing was successful. What do you call that? Our scavenge was successful in the second attempt. That's kind of new for me. But our challenge failed again. We have not made it through an entire challenge yet. We will get there. One day we will get there. Oh, wait, there's mail. Can we collect the mail? Oh, new drop survived. One. Perished in atomic explosions. Three. Collected 15 items. Survived only 10 days. Oh, total survival 10 days. Longest survival 60 days. Oh, that must be everybody survived. The longest everybody survived is 10 days. That is really bad. Um, wait, there's an apocalypse? Excuse me? What? Perish post-apocalypse? What? I, I didn't realize there was something other than just... Is that just the what we're in? Or is there another apocalypse? Is there zombies too? What is happening here? Uh, win ratio, 0%. That's my number right there. That's what we were looking for. That number right there, that's totally me. Okay, undertaken 10 successful expeditions out of 13. People perished on expeditions, six. <laughs> that's a terrible ratio. People perished from hunger, zero. Perished from thirst, nine. Perished from sickness, zero. Perished from injuries, two. Okay, People perish during the new drop. One. <laughs> My bad. Uh, 25 waters, 20.75 soups consumed, and the average survival time, big fat zero days. These are literally my kind of numbers. Those are my kind of numbers. Terrible numbers. Oh, whoa, no, return. What are you doing? Don't click on that. What is that? Oh, that's the credits. We're not there yet. We still have more things to do. All right, guys. Well, this is all we got time for today, though. This is 60 Seconds Reatomized on Steam Saturday. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you did, make sure you head on down below. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe and ring that bell so that you'll be notified when there's new 60 Seconds or any Steam games coming out or any of my content. If you're interested, in the description box below is a link for memberships, which gives you exclusive content, emojis, and badges, including videos that only come out for Daisy's Bad Gaming members. Go check it out. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram and Twitter, do so because new merch is dropping soon and that is where you'll be notified. All right, guys, that's all we got time for. Bye, everybody. We didn't, didn't save Mary Jane again. She's always running away. What's up with that? She's such a teenager. Goes that alien again. <laughs> They're back. <laughs> Haven't you guys learned? Just leave. All right, guys, till next time. I'll see you later. Bye.